Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for Aquarius uh, for your January 2023. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading can be about anything. Um, so we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for uh january and then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know look out for work on apply this to your own unique situation okay um keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind uh what else uh if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below okay so uh tell me about aquarius here over energies for Aquarius. What is surrounding Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect for um, January 2023 for Aquarius? Tell me about Aquarius here. Tell me about Aquarius. All right, we got the two of wands. So, you know, I feel like you... <sighs> um, this is okay. So two of wands and the star card. There you are right here. Seems like you're fine of trying to figure out like which direction to take, which way to go to really connect with the divine here. Okay, let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Three of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You know, whatever path that you're choosing deciding on i do feel like you're going to choose the right path here where you know you are going to be in very successful in this path here maybe this is regarding a career perhaps this is regarding your spiritual path here okay i do feel like there's an energy of like overcoming you know maybe a financial struggle that you've been going through okay or that you're getting out of it um you know, this, this could be also, you know, overcoming insecurities or healing from your insecurities here, healing from abandonment issues, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation. Six of Wands here and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Wands. You know, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Hold on one sec. <coughs> Ugh, Four of Wands in the reverse here. The Star. In the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, you know, could be a situation that you're healing from a breakup here. If it's not a breakup, it could be that, you know, at some point you were dealing with a situation where there was a lack of stability, a lack of happiness in your home life, in your life in general. And I feel like you're trying to figure out a way on how to sort of stabilize that. Tell me about that Queen of Pentacles. Justice, Libra energy, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles here. Whatever path that you're choosing here, I do feel like you're going to choose a clear path for yourself here. I do feel like, you know, sometimes that card, that Justice card is about seeing things clearly, you know, also making a decision here, you know, making a decision and cutting one thing out and, you know, pursuing that thing that you're meant to go towards. The Eight of Pentacles here. You know, it seems like you're working really hard and building a future here for yourself. I mean, some of you guys could be physically moving away to somewhere new in order to sort of like achieve what you want here. Okay, Six of Wands, Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of uh, Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, whatever is going on here with all these wands here, you know, I just feel like there's an excitement here about moving towards the future moving towards new things pursuing passions here you know pursuing your goals here all right let's see what else we have here outcome and advice here for aquarius regarding their situations what else does aquarius need to know look out for and work on for january 2023 the death card scorpio energy the moon cancer pisces six of cups 
six of pentacles in the reverse yeah you know what i feel like there is a past situation that you're not giving to anymore okay so whatever this is i feel like you're closing out a cycle here okay and i feel like you're focusing on shadow work doing shadow work here working on yourself here making uh working on making some big changes here okay uh we have the magician and the devil here you know this is so interesting i feel like someone here could be energetically holding you back okay um I mean, you could be dealing with the karmic here. You could be dealing with someone that you have a strong energetic cord here with, okay? Whoever this is, you know, there's a bit of an energy manipulation here, okay? And I feel like, you know, there's an energy of being sucked back towards this devil energy here, okay? One of the things I'm getting here with the magician and the devil here, you know, I feel like some of you guys might have struggled with addiction and I feel like you guys might still struggle with addiction here. You know, not that you guys are using, but more so it's kind of like it's a struggle every single day, you know, trying not to use, trying to stay, stay clean and stuff like that. Okay, so that might resonate with at least one of you guys. Um, the magician, Gemini, Virgo, the devil here, Capricorn energy here. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, Aquarius, I should, like I said, I feel like you're trying to find that clear path of trying to connect with the divine here. And I feel like you are, you know, I feel like this is sort of like your saving grace here. This is sort of like that's going to, this is that what's going to keep you in this very balanced and stable energy here. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So I feel like you guys are really tapped in moving forward here tapped into a higher uh, you know tapped into a higher power here tapped into your intuition so moving forward i feel like you guys are in this like very intuitive energy here especially with the moon and the high priestess being here so uh tell me about the six of cups here all right the emperor aries energy yeah so there's an energy of sort of like you're regaining control of your life here you know, and I feel like the divine is sort of like stepping into like sort of rock your world in order for you to like make a decision or to make some changes here. And I feel like you're doing that. Okay. So the Emperor Aries energy, the Tower Aries Scorpio energy, lots of Aries energy here. So you guys might have Aries energy in your chart here. Tell me about the magician. Seven of Cups. The devil in the seven of swords it seems like like i said going back to the drug thing here i feel like the devil it's rearing its ugly head and i feel like there's an energy where you're strong enough to sort of like to overcome this okay sometimes you know that seven of cups as a representation to me is like escaping reality and i feel like you don't want to be that do that anymore i feel like you want to be present in every moment of your life and sort of like enjoying you know your life and not have to be under any anything to sort of like to experience uh, bliss and happiness here okay so yeah it just seems like you know the devil is wearing this ugly head and i feel like you are slaying it okay so Aquarius, hope that this was helpful. Hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.